What's going on everyone? Arctic here and we're back with some more Fallout 4. Survival mode, of course. Um, last time we helped the Abernathy Farms with getting their daughter's pendant back. Uh, this time, I think we're gonna head down to Diamond City. Start making our way, establishing uh, a couple settlements down there, so traveling back and forth between up here and down there will be a little bit easier. Just for a quick check. No ammo. Very little ammo. Well, I mean, flare guns don't really matter. That's a good amount of ammo. No ammo. Uh, we should just have plenty of... We should be fine with food and water until we get to Diamond City. Codsworth is somewhere. There he is. So I guess we just start heading down there. Once we get down there, we're just gonna go do a little bit of shopping. Ooh. This ammo. Oh, perfect. I was like, what the hell is that? It's just a just the damn stag. We should explore any places we can get to. Yeah. Oh, shoot. already is looking to be a little bit fun. It's a fun trip. See, this is why I like having Codsworth around, or military great duct tape. Very good find for adhesives. Because then, if I'm getting surrounded by, like, surrounded like that. Ooh. Hello, Feral Ghoul. Goodbye, Feral Ghoul. He can take some of the damage for me. What is down here? Weapons workbench, gas. Just want to grab everything we can. Bottle cat line. Wasteland survival guide. Diamond City is now permanently marked on your map. I mean, I already knew where Diamond City was. I guess that's for people who somehow just skipped doing the main quest. Could it be? Damn. So it's definitely E and A. Eat. Damn. I'm in. 
To be a personal nature, I identify myself as a great thinking citizen of these once great United States. I will not stand idly by as the government infects the minds of its people with devices like the electrical tower they've erected in my front lawn. I pledge to take down this mind control device by any means necessary and have begun constructing in and construction on an incendiary device. If you're reading this, I have certainly been killed or detained in a government interrogation camp. The news will surely warp the truth and brand me a communist traitor. Do not believe their lies. Let all true patriots know that what I do, I do of my own free will and for the good of my country. Alright, so he's just a big conspiracy theorist. Anything else? Duct tape. We could take that desk fan, but I want to save some room for now. I mean, I could just give stuff to Codsworth, I guess. Now, I've never seen that before, though. My entire time playing uh, Fallout, I've never been down there before. Is there a bed here? Perfect. Sleep for a couple hours. Now that we have a nice save going on, we can keep on going to the city. What's finding going on over there. We're gonna ignore it for now. We're only gonna do get into a fight if we really need to. Any fights we can avoid, I will do my best to avoid them. And we also have a level up. Endurance has got done. Go with the plus 10 to damage resistance. So once we're there, I think we're just going to go meet up with Piper and uh, I think we can do the interview then. We can do the interview with her. Uh, I don't think we're going to go and do the continue on with the main story immediately. I think we're going to go and try doing a side quest or two real quickly. Just so that we can get some more caps so we can get some upgrades on stuff. Nice. Take a little bit of meat, make some food when we head back. It's going to be a pain going all the way back up to Sanctuary, though, which is why I just want to move everybody that I can down to um the, uh, um, I, I, I forget what it's called. The alleyway, that's what it's called. I knew that. You're mine now, rookie. Oh, man. Alright, so it's just a trade off. He killed me, I killed him. Maybe I should get this shotgun out if we run into him again. Oh, yes. Let's get this again. Toughness of 10. I'm gonna have to look up a guide to see like what, how many quests there actually are in the game because I know a lot of the bigger, more important, or at least just the more fun, cooler quests. But if we find um, if there's any like little t quests, I want to get some, try doing some of those as well. Oh, 
gunners. Hello there, gunner. Parts from lack of water. We can worry about that in a minute. You know what? It'd be better just to. So this side we just ran the gunners. And their little turret. Alright. There are times to charm. Are you getting down to the city? I think we should just book it, Codsworth. It's a whiskey bottle. I think I need to invest into a long-ranged sniper of some kind. I think it'd be very beneficial to me for situations like that. I can just scout ahead and see if there's anything dangerous. This is just... Harm. So there's an H. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Lots of good stuff there. We'll take all those. Godsworth, come here, my friend. We need a trade. You just take all of my junk. Thank you, Codsworth. I'm going to try to avoid the gunners, if they're even there. something. Maybe the dogs again. <laughs> Hello? Anybody around? No? Okay. Take. Keep going down this way. We can actually run near the Orlands, Orland Station and get the quest to get them to join us. But I believe theirs is like... No, I think that's that's the robot farm one. It's pro I think it's just killing some raiders. We'll worry about that later on when we're heading off in whatever direction that is. I mean, complete, working with the Minutemen really isn't that important. Wait, where's that at? Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Okay, well we definitely want to do that because we want to join up with the Brotherhood of Steel. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. Brotherhood of Steel is the I I would say the best faction to possibly have for the uh, survival mode. I would say it goes that, then the Institute, then the Minutemen, and then um, the Railroad. Railroad's only good until, is bad up until the very end of the quest line where you actually get a vertebrate to fly around in. Just placing mines everywhere is not helping me. Okay, 
Yeah, let's go help the Brotherhood out. I'm not gonna keep putting you guys to the torture of me trying to get to there, so I'll see you once we get back to the, down to the Cambridge police station. Hello there, Dance. <clears throat> we appreciate the assistance, civilian. What's your business here? Trying to survive? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission is Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Who are you really? I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you really? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty. But I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Yeah. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Okay. 
See, this is the one issue with um with poor Codsworth. Until I can get the DLC, I don't think we should really be bringing him around with us anymore. Right, civilian. Just because we can't repair him. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Go. All right. Packed cigarettes. Let's we'll take that. Now we just have to wait for Codsworth to want to leave. gonna take him a while to get up. I think it took him like I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Oh let's see if he's still out here. If not then oh well because we can just take Piper with us because we're pretty close to the uh we're pretty close to Diamond City. I wonder where the main character for Fallout 3 is, because how many- it hasn't been that long, and he should still be- because I think he's like, what, like, 18 in that game? He should be like, at most in his- I don't even know, I don't remember how far back that was. But it shouldn't be too long, though, he should still be part of the Brotherhood of Steel, at least. Like, he'd be a paladin or something- he'd be- I feel like he'd be close to actually being, um... Like, one of the- He's gotta be one of the big bosses, one of the big honchos. Ah, uh, Codsworth is long gone. Yeah, he's long gone. Makes no sense considering I was only gone for like, what, a second? Anyways, we're just gonna head over to, uh... Well, how far away are we? Yeah, we should- we should be fine. Just gotta be careful going along these streets, cause it's only me now. I put a point into perception instead of uh, the damage resistance, just so that my VATS uh, shooting capabilities are a little bit better. Fraternal post 115. I think that's where um, we uh, Nate was supposed to give his speech the day the bombs fell. I don't think I've ever really been in there. There's so many spots that I have never been in. Because I've always just been like, just do main quest, do the quest. What do we have here? No Coca Cola Quantum, we'll take that. Don't really care about anything else. There are some raiders up ahead, so we have to just run past them. I wonder what that explosion was, though. Wreck of the USS Riptide. It's literally just... Just gotta run past all the super mutants. Might get lucky, maybe there'll be a dead guard that we can get some armor off of. Maybe we can get a little bit 
bit closer. Just waiting to see if he just drops anything for me. Anything of value. That's what I get for being curious. Right, I guess I'll see you guys once we actually get to the Diamond City now, because I'm going to have to go through all that again. God damn it. Maybe this time we'll have Codsworth with us. Damn it! then we're almost there to Diamond City it took me maybe like it didn't take me too long to get back here we lost Codsworth again but that's fine see so you got one of those fancy vault suits can't open the gate stop playing around Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud I got orders not to let you in Miss Piper I'm sorry I'm just doing my job just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open this gate right now. Hi, Piper. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <sighs> I think Diamond City is like probably one of the my more favorited cities. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. I think it's one of my favorites just because they have this giant metal gate and the big walls. And very creative for a city. Like all the other cities, most of the other cities we see are just like built up from the ground up. Is that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth. <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Yeah, where's my son at? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My child. My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City security just going to stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. 
A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I need to get my charisma up. I can't do a lot Enjoy of these. Your stay in our fair checks this without it. This is ridiculous. It. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Bye, Piper. Go oh, talk to Danny, be so, like, sorry for that. You're that traitor Piper was talking about. I didn't mean to lie, officer. It, it all just happened so fast. Oh, sure it did. Happened so fast you forgot all about paper. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's brought you into... Not really your business. All right. You want to be a dick to me, Danny? I'll be a dick to you. Oh, maybe I won't I save your life that. later. Ah, Diamond City. If only it was a little bit bigger, but I mean, you can do what you can at the time. For, I mean, that goes for any great games. I think we should go get a haircut. This old hairstyle just won't work in the apocalypse Anyone anymore. Is one of those <laughs> right here we call your haircut the scab special. A little flex of blood to give it a personal touch. Hair. You should think about getting a trim. Yeah, all right. Let's get to it. Just sit in the chair. Let's get a nice new haircut for the apocalypse. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see me. Definitely don't want anything like that. You think that article is telling the truth? About the mayor? Nah, the mayor's okay in my book. Perfect. In color, we can give it a little bit of a... Oh, sure, it's just a blue. We're gonna go with the blue green, I guess. Perhaps. Who was it? I don't know. Whoever. I really like these types of haircuts. Maybe we shave off all your hair. No kidding. Hi. The super you there? Can give Talk you some the sense into my nitwit son. What kind of secretary is she a synth? What? Hmm? You know what a synth is, right? Those machine people the Institute makes looks and acts just like the real thing. Only I think they made Geneva a little too perfect. No woman looks like she does. Oh, perky. So she's a synth. No idea. You don't know. What? Born without a brain between your ears? No, you she's been frozen for a few, for a couple hundred years. She don't know if Geneva's a synth, and neither do you. So could you lay off? Don't you talk to your mother that way, Johnny. Snip, snip, and bam, you're beautiful. Not interested. Okay, you take care. Yeah, we're all set here. Ah, oh, yes, we're gonna hey, need some food. Scabber. got plenty of ramen meat on the hooks. I'll take a look. Sure. Remember, bloodier is better. Let's see. What can we sell? We could sell the wedding rings to her, but I don't know if we can get a better deal anywhere else. So the bubble gum, carrot flowers. Sell our alcohol to her. Let's see, eight. Okay, it's a little this meat's a little bit too expensive. I can buy a rad roach, meaning it costs me only one. 
What's with you vault dwellers and those jumpsuits, huh? It's just what they made us wear in the back in the day. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about a facial reconstruction? Could use some supplies. Um, let's see what I can. How much is it for? Anything really? Ooh, 146. Yeesh. I think we're just gonna get 82 no matter what, so we can get a single med kit if we or sim pack if we wanted to. Are you okay? So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca Cola. Hey, there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. That's fine. Hey, it's the new girl. Am I right? The new girl? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? I mean, it's pretty small. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. I've got a few minutes to browse. Something for everyone. All right. Let's see, mines really aren't gonna be something we need to worry about. But we'll sell this. We'll keep these just because it gives us bottle caps later down the road. Keep that. I don't want the short hunting rifle. But I'll keep everything else for now. We'll just sell the wet the wedding rings. Oh, we can sell that. I don't want any alcohol. We don't need to have any addictions. Just gonna sell everything to him. Resist fatigue and lethargy. Resist infection and parasites. That's fine. We can make a bottle cap mine with that, but meh. Keep the junk. Don't need that. Don't need that. Keep that ammo for whenever we do need it. The fusion core. Keep the flares. Alright. Junk. We don't need any junk for now. Oh, I would love to get a big boy, but we cannot afford that right now. Can't really afford anything. Old Faithful would also be nice. Alright, what about some fusion cells? That. That's a lot, but we do need more fusion cores. So it's either the fusion cells or the fusion cores. I think the fusion cells are more important right now. We could just sell all this and get how many fusion cores? Get two fusion cores. But then we have nothing for the minigun that's all the way back at Sanctuary that we'd have to get. I think it's fine for now. Shotgun shells. It's by 10. All right, good enough for me. Do need to unlock stuff so we can upgrade our weapons. We can't really make anything. I mean, shotguns, I feel are better just like close range anyway, so... We gotta get science six so that we can get that six crank. Surplus, everything you need. We got small arms, long arms, and munition. Okay, well we can't really make anything. We gotta get the experience for that first. Let's go and talk to Piper. You need something, Scabbard? Got too much dirt in that hair? Get it trimmed. You won't regret it. Free paper to me. You need this paper. Hey, Piper. Everything on the institute, by public need no, to know. Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? You're a vault dweller. 
So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What's involved? What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Yep, let's do it. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? We were frozen. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, what? <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yeah. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? It sucks or it gives me hope. Um, I mean, just from all the other games, humanity is still thriving, so it gives, gives Honestly, me some hope. seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? You can only take it one day at a time. Just. Keep going. That's all anyone can do. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? I think my readers can relate to that. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before, didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. So, you think this Nick Valentine can find Sean? Yeah. <laughs> People don't like talking about him. I'm part of the whole head in the sand mindset Diamond City is famous for. But when you're down on your luck, no one else is going to give you a hand. He's always there. Anyway, I love Nick. Nick is I one of my favorite. With you, right? I think he's like my we'll number one favorite back. follower, especially since Just say the, word the Far right. Harbor DLC involves him so much. Next. I wish, because with like Piper's backstory, I wish um Nuko World would be a uh, bigger with her. You have a bed I can borrow, by the way. Definitely taking that right away. That meat. Can I please borrow a bed? Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never likes it. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. You know what? You know where to find me. We will take Piper with us. <laughs> Just carrying a whole typewriter with us. Oh, I guess I can go rent out a room at the uh, inn. So I guess we should just go do that then. Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's sakes. We're family. Let someone help. That's enough. Kyle, no! Officer? Okay. 
Show's over. Bad one down on the there are no sins in Diamond City. Myself. Hear me? Just Why you folks and your gold? damn paranoia. <laughs> At least someone in this town did more than just stand and gawk. Hey, my own brother. If you hadn't shown up, you would have killed me. You're safe now. That's all that matters. I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Poor Kyle. And he's not even a synth either, which makes it all the worse. Hello, Percy. Diamond City Security is going to conduct an investigation, right? Hi. The synth is dead, right? That's what happened? He's not even a synth either. Damn people and their paranoia. Hey, Polly. Damn waste of life is what it is. Alright, well, let's go. I believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout inn. And that's the booze. Yeah, it's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. <laughs> the noodle stand. Redim, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yeti. I am in middle of story. Redim, I am crossing river. Well, they're telling a story. Let's see if we can get anything with the pie. The most dangerous of all sea monsters. A Meyer Lurk! A Meyer Lurk! Come on! That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really dead. Redeem! I forgot you were there, Yeti. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Jesus, bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now let So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking. <laughs> Not today. You sure? You then. <clears throat> You'll find I'm very... Persistent. All right, Edward. Do I know you? No, but I've heard of you. I've done nothing. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous and that you'll be paid fairly. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Bye, Edward. I'll see you soon. Oh, yeah, no. We need to rent out a room. Oh, a customer. Need a room? Here's your caps. You're in room two, just through the door. All right, so this is where we'll end this episode off. Next one we'll go and, um, I don't know, we'll do something around the city. I know there's probably a quest or two we can do around here. And then we'll go and get Nick and continue on from there. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see all of you in the next episode.